Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Saturday, October 20th, 9.46 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. You are now experiencing the second KP0 day in a row. The grand solar minimum has arrived. Welcome to the new paradigm. Chicago weather, high winds and snow in October. Snow fell and high winds blew on Saturday in the Chicago area, causing downed trees, delayed flights, and power outages. Winds between 25 and 35 mile per hour gusts up to 50 were expected to continue into the evening, according to the National Weather Service. Saturday's flurries was the first official snow of the season, but some did fall eight days ago. So how, what the f are they talking about? Obfuscating the truth as the planet cools rapidly as we descend into the grand solar minimum. Solar minimum cycle 24 alone should be a doozy. Flash, blizzard, blankets, Wisconsin, Illinois game with snow. Ho, ho, ho. Say it ain't snow. As tends to do in Wisconsin, snowy weather took control of the Badgers game against Illinois in the first half of Saturday, causing all kinds of problems. But as crazy as it was to see snow all over the field this early in October, the change from no snow to a white field was the real shocker. Global warming on the left, grand solar minimum on the right. Boom! <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how that works. Flash blizzard blankets Wisconsin in front of the nation's eyes. Brace for a doozy of a weekend cold front, kids, in the Cincinnati-Lexington region as we short circuit. <laughs> Nothing going right here. Get ready for another Friday evening that presents rounds of rain. Although it is Saturday evening, the chance climbs to 80% tonight that the East is going to be the beast. <laughs> well, this is just simply a precursor to what I'm about to show you. Here's the live map. This is the GFS model, two meter air temperature, true temps right now. And I'm in the frozen zone down here <laughs> right now. But I want you to look, North Dakota, Minnesota. Tomorrow, how cold the entire country is. All the way down to Texas. Sunday, we're going to have freezing temperatures in most of Wisconsin and Michigan. The Southern Appalachians are going to be frozen in a big way. Take a look at the entire Northeast. Freezing. Well below normal. 10 to 20 degrees below normal. Through Monday, all the way down to Florida. Look at those temperatures in Georgia, Alabama, Louisiana, Iowa, Minnesota, Arkansas. Insane. This continues through Tuesday. Take a look at Wednesday in the Northeast. <laughs> Take a look at Thursday, October 25th in the Northeast. Are you picking it up? Look at those temperatures right there. Across the country. It's not winter. There is no global warming to be found anywhere here on Thursday, October 25th. Maybe in Miami. And then the zero degree temperatures descend on eastern Canada in a big way. Oh my goodness. This pattern continues until the end of October. Let's check the snow forecast, GFS model. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, heavy snow all throughout the mountains of Colorado. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. It's showing several feet here all the way into New Mexico. Sierra's are going to pick up a little. Idaho, western Wyoming. But Eastern Canada is going to be the winner until 
Alberta and the mountains of Saskatchewan start picking up on the action next weekend, October 27th. Now let's check out the Northeast and look at these snows coming down into West Virginia, according to the models, Sunday morning. So when you wake up Sunday, snowshoe heads up, lake effect's going to start kicking in. And Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the way up through Maine, the Northeast is going to get early season snow. Run the model through and there are heavy snows hitting the Northeast. By the end of the month, New Hampshire, Vermont could be seeing snow records. Northern Adirondacks, heads up, Whiteface Mountain. <laughs> and I hope we are buried the way these models are predicting. Washington is going to get on the action too. Washington State, heads up. Let's come over to the European GFS, and what you're going to quickly glean is huge amounts of snow in Finland. But let's check out... The snow picking up heavy at the end of October in the Alps. Northern Spain, Fran southern France picking up over 30 centimeters here. And take a look. In October, the northern, northern Sahara regions, yes, North Africa is going to be receiving snow for the third year in a row. Ho, ho, ho. Say it ain't so. North Africa getting snow? <laughs> yo, yo, yo! Wow. Cold drop wreaks havoc in Spain, eastern coast, and Balearic Islands. Around 30 people were rescued from their cars as torrential rain batters the country, causing flooding, traffic problems, road closures. Oh, look at that beetle. Spain has been hit by another bout of extreme weather with eastern coast of the Balearic Islands battered by torrential rain and flooding. The unusual conditions are the result of Goto Fria. Grand solar minimum much? <laughs> I guess they have a name for it everywhere. Yes, they do. Goto Fria. It means in cold, unprecedented October rain hits the desert nation of Kitar, totally fluxed causing major flash floods in a region that never sees rain. Intense thunderstorms produced strong winds and dropped heavy rain over the desert nation of Kitar October 19th and 20th, causing severe flash flooding across the country. Heavy rain is expected to continue into Monday, October 22nd. Motorists are advised not to park in this lot. Boom! Don't park in the lot. Prepared, not scared. That's what we do. Holla. Intense thunderstorms produce flooding rains. Heavy rain is falling over much of Kitar since 12, local time October 19th, limiting visibility to less than one kilometers and making it very difficult to shop at the local mall, according to this Arabic. Unstable weather conditions resulting from an extension of a lower pressure system continues affecting the country. And here's a picture of a lake. Whew, thank God. Trinidad, Tobago, totally fluxed while men are using chainsaws in the flooding waters in the shorts. It's insane. Thousands of people were left marooned across Trinidad, Tobago yesterday as a result of heavy rainfall caused by an active intertropical convergence zone, or ITZZ. Whew. Thank God they made an acronym. That makes it so much easier. Rainfall is estimated by the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Management, the ODPM. Another one to have affected 80% of the fucking country. Did I just curse? The Rural Development and Local Government Ministry said the Disaster Management Units, DMUs, oh, and another one at the 14 local government corporations have been activated and the houses that are small sheds are being ripped from their foundations. Why did he build a house in the middle of a river? That's my question. Holy shit. These people, they... I, but what did, why did he put his house in the middle of the river? It's not going to do well. Doesn't look good there. That looks like a nice little, what is that? A little, what is that, squash? It's nice. While relief efforts are being hampered by the rain, the units will be able to bring its full resources to bear, whatever that says. Thank you, Electroverse, for making me very embarrassed about the reading of this article. Seismic update. No quakes of note. 
Southeast Indian Ridge is rocking. The only place on the planet. Any Anything significant going on in the last 12 hours. 5.9 out here. We do have uh, an uptick in uh, North Alaska. Just kicking off moments ago. An interesting quake in Amarillo, Texas 4.0. Frack much? Oklahoma. So we were waiting for a large shock to come up here in the New Zealand region, but we did have a 4.4. Still at depth, 379. At La Esperance in the Fiji region, we had another 4.4 at 457. So we'll watch this area closely. And we have another deep quake in the Banda Sea here in the Indonesia region. So that could kick off another larger event up at the top. So we're going to be watching this all closely because we're expecting a large quake to kick off in the next three months before the new year, magnitude eight or greater. And we are in KP zero, as we showed once again. Look at the solar wind speed here down at around 270 kilometers per second. We've had little perturbations here in the phi angle, but nothing significant. As the density is increasing, the KP is still hitting the floor. This is a sol grand solar minimum situation, and it will only be worse over the coming years. The amount of cosmic rays flowing into the surface are certainly charging silicious rich magma. So what we should expect from this massive period of cosmic ray influx over the last 48 hours is a major eruption occurring in the next week. Mark my words. It's based on scientific fact. So is the great snow hurricane of 1804. Historical documents show that on October 9th, 1804, a snow hurricane struck eastern New England. The first time in recorded history, a tropical storm produced snowfall. And then in the last three years, the same thing has happened in the East Coast. So 1804, we had the great snow hurricane that struck New England when it was very bad. No, it was just bad. It wasn't really bad. It was bad. And you are here. And within a decade, you will be below bad. So we implore you to prepare now. And I have no idea what happened to that graphic. There it is. It's back here. Whew. So what you're looking at is solar activity since 1600 to present. The predicted minimum, the grand solar minimum we're entering and there is not much time to prepare. In historic times in the past, even back here, there were major perturbations in the empire model, and we are already passing those areas. Are you picking it up? Prepare now. No one is coming to help you. The amount of people that are affected, we're not talking like a few ambulances and emergency preparedness people are going to fix this. You better have Band-Aids for years. And if you're an Alki, beers for years. Let's talk about some facts. U.S. Air Force mysterious X-37B space plane passes 400-day mark. Space shuttle much? Look at this thing. What the... F are they... What are they preparing for? More importantly, Canada is running out of marijuana two days after the drug became legal. Holy sh... Ow! I'll tell you what, we're not running out down here in Colorado. <laughs> Canadians were so excited about getting their hands on some legal recreational marijuana, the country is reportedly experiencing a shortage after the mainstream claimed that no one wanted to smoke pot. <laughs> Oh, these Canadians. We could have the best schools. Do you know how many billions of dollars come out of the marijuana industry through taxes? So many that the elites have bunkers everywhere. They're going to be safe. Ten years ago, the California Institute of Technology, JPL, They're well aware of what is about to happen. Large volcanic eruptions greater or equal 
to a magnitude 8 on the VEI index are more probable than a comet hitting the ocean, both of which are going to happen in the next decade. Now, there has been significant effort over the last two decades to, ter to determine what threats exist to humanity on Earth and how to mitigate them under the umbrella term planetary defense. Some of the cockamamie stories you've heard of and we've shared of are like tapping the geothermal resources of Yellowstone. What could go wrong there? Ha! I don't know. But the most important and most significant is a super volcanic eruption and more probable. I guarantee you, you're going to live through a VEI seven or eight if you live for another decade. I guarantee you, and you're gonna see what happens to crop failure, crop loss, unrest, globally, wars. It's all in this paper, I'm gonna leave it for you. If you care about the facts, they're all in here. The government knows and they're not warning you. So. Be prepared, not scared. That's what our channel is all about. Are you prepared? And people were complaining that I was demanding you buy the books. It was a joke, kids. If you can't afford it, move next to someone who's got the book. Or go to the library. Make photocopies. Put it on a flash drive. You can afford three bucks. You can put a thousand books on that, baby. Wrap it in tin foil. Put it in a galvanized trash can and you're good to go. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Bitching and moaning doesn't help anyone. If you're not resourceful, you won't make it. The future time is not for the meek. It's not for the weary. It's not for the lazy pricks that don't get off their ass and try to grow food. It's not for the people that don't know how to read a book. If you're anything I just described, you won't make it. But proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in the future that we are guaranteed, which is a reset of the empire model, which happens every 200 years. In fact, we're going into a very unique environment, which is more like a thousand or a 20,000 year cycle. So get prepared now. They're not coming to help you. Homesteading, how to live off the land, homesteading from scratch, country wisdom, almanac, country wisdom and how to know, plant propagation, backyard homesteading, Preserving food, real food fermentation, canning, freezing, curing, smoking, root cellaring, number one bestseller. This is the number one book used by anyone off grid. No other book is more important than the one I'm circling. If you can't raise $13 together or go to the library and read this book and remember what it says for free, then you're not properly planning. Go get it. Links below. Hope you got something out of the video. Times are changing. The facts are in. To here's solar activity. Here's the total solar irradiance laid over top of each other. Directly related. The only thing that's not in here is the, our magnetosphere, which is waning as well. Adding cosmic ray, insult to injury, biblical flooding, rapidly cooling the planet, causing more cloud nucleation, which everyone thinks are chemtrails, some covert activity. It doesn't matter. Even if the government is spraying it, it doesn't matter. The empire is ending. Prepare now. We love you. Be safe.